going on YouTube, this is Wilbox Piano, and I'm going to be showing you how to play the intro riff to Nightwalker. So Nightwalker, the, the intro is really, really cool and really catchy. And there's a lot going on, but if you break it down into different pieces and understand like the formula that is being used here, it'll make it a lot simpler to memorize and to be able to play it. So if you have your own synthesizer or keyboard, I highly recommend that you, you know, join me on this journey to understand how to play this. So I look at it like this. There are a lot of simple parts working in conjunction to make it seem very fancy and more complicated than it really is. But if you just, you know, break that down, it'll be a little bit easier. So. I know that this is in the key of B minor, but either way, you don't really need to know that. Um, it does help if you are familiar with scales, even like like harmonic minor, uh, etc. But there are basically four pieces to like this little puzzle. The first part is there's a line that plays, and the second part is in between that line, there are a pair of notes that are going to change. Right? So I'm just playing these two with my left hand in between. The next part is there's going to be a transition going to the next chord. So the fourth part is going to be the next chord. And then you just take that formula throughout the entire thing. And I'm going to break it down even further. And I'm going to show you little chunks to exercise in order to put it all together. The first thing I highly recommend is playing in anything you learn to like a slower BPM. I'm going to put this down to around 70. Um, and we're going to, we're going to put all the building blocks together. So the first, it's going to seem very, very simple, but you know, you'll see it come together and I'll explain what we're doing. So the first line, starting from F sharp and you're basically, anytime I look at a line like this, I, I'm looking, I'm looking at where it's going to resolve, right? It's going to resolve on that E and you're kind of like cradling around it. The next line is going to start from the same spot, but just go down the scale, right? And then this is going to cradle what? D. And then same thing. This one is going to start at G and cradle this F sharp. See that? And then this is a bit of a key change, but. It's like that. And then you repeat the entire thing and then you end with like the. So that's all I'm going to do. We're going to just play that entire thing to a metronome. Or actually, I won't use a metronome, just use the beat itself. I mean, like a little backing track for this. So that's all I'm going to do. It's just that line. So feel free to rewind that and practice that. The next part, 
So what I'm doing with my left hand is I'm taking a pair of notes. They're always going to be a pair of thirds, either like a major third or a minor third, you know, type of thing. But I'll show what those are. So you're going to start at G in G and B. F sharp and A sharp. F sharp and A natural. F natural G sharp. Um, and then you're going to do the same thing. Uh huh. And then this one you're going to do A and C. That's basically it. So I'm going to play it with just that part. Actually, you could do that. It might be a little bit awkward without the other part. I would recommend just putting it together immediately. So once you've like gotten comfortable with the first part, I would just try to put them together immediately because it has such a specific rhythm by not doing that. I think it, it, I, I just wouldn't do it. <laughs> so I'm going to put them both together. So here we go. So just remember where this is. No transition. close to having it all together. The last element is just the transition into the next chord, every chord. That's just more or less just a scale run upwards. It's just going to be like four or five notes that you just have to memorize going upwards. And if you do like your, um, like harmonic minor scale or like, if you know that it'll just be pretty easy, but Either way, I'll hold your hand on this one. So, I guess the best way for me to approach it is I could play it exclusively. I'll do that, and you'll just have to memorize what it is. But it's typically going to start with the A sharp. Here we go. So, I. just you play the whole thing
Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play it at 120 BPM. Feel free to play along with me. I'm going to do it two times. The second time, I'm going to turn down so you can really hear yourself do it. You take off the training wheels. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and give me a suggestion as to what uh, riff you would like me to upload next and to break down. This is pretty cool. And I'm going to throw in a backing track in, in the description. If you join my Discord, you'll see a link for all that stuff, and you can use that for pretty much just practice. Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, should I do it even faster? I'll do it at 1.30. <laughs> Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Again, feel free to give me any feedback. And also in the Discord, there'll be links to various speeds of this track that you could just practice to and have fun with. Until next time, this has been Will Fox Piano, and I'll see ya.